keep it up. Happy birthday, Sonic. It's his birthday this month. He's putting on a show at State and Hope, December 13th, for Bass Missoula. Please welcome to the stage, Tim Miller. Everybody excited that we're finally through Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. yeah. Now we can focus on the really important holiday. Tim's giving, my birthday. <laughs> yeah, giving it to the world. Yeah. Or I guess Christmas, I guess we can celebrate Jesus' birthday. He's, we've been celebrating that for 2,000 years. I think we just need to give up on that at this point. Like, he's old enough. We don't need to celebrate Jesus anymore. <laughs> yeah. I do I do think we need to like give up this white lie we've been like saying about like Christmas like the white lie that like white people are anyway involved with Christmas besides like getting drunk on eggnog and like over caffeinated on peppermint lattes like Jesus wasn't white contrary to like the portraits in your grandma's bathroom watching you pee the three this guy knows <laughs> the three wise men weren't white. Even like St. Nicholas was from Turkey, so he probably wasn't white, so. I guess I'll give us Frosty. <laughs> but he also, he's also like half magic, you know, and he hung out with like mostly kids. <laughs> so read whatever chapter you want out of that book, but they all ended with Frosty in jail, so. Uh, yeah. I, I do love the holiday season, you know, I love winter. Not necessarily for his personality, it's kind of cold, but I like his looks. I like the general look of winter. And I don't know, I'm a big fan of all the Christmas things, you know, like Christmas songs and TV shows and video games, which I don't know, I'll give five bucks to anybody who can name a Christmas video game right now. Okay, yeah. you can't, so. I knew you could. That's why I offered five bucks. <laughs> yeah. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Nailed it. Oh. Was that a video game? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah see me after the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I like the Chris, you know, like Rudolph story of a misfit that was only like accepted for his deformity after it became useful for Santa Claus. <laughs> like Silent Night which is about Mary and Joseph just wanting Jesus to go the fuck to sleep so they can sleep too. Yeah. Or like uh, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer which reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> Fantasies. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I like this clapping. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, but I, I think we need gear. We need some new fucking Christmas carols. We have like fucking nobody wants a winter wonderland. White Christmas. I I do want a white Christmas, but not with snow. <laughs> Which is why I've, I've actually started, I've started writing my own Christmas carol. Yeah. Oh no, oh no! It's about Mrs. Claus cheating on Santa, so... Santa caught Mrs. Claus under the mistletoe with the elf named Fred. It's a work in progress. <laughs> you guys are a really clappy crowd. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys like impressions? No. Me neither. <laughs> Happy birthday, Devin. Devin's birthday. I have another friend whose birthday is in like three days and they challenged me tonight to do like two impressions. I didn't know who they were making me impersonate until tonight. I wrote it down. Oh. Yeah. 
So oh. let's see how this works. I'm not an impressionist at all. Get ready, Rick. If I can impressionate, impersonate a happy person, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got Mr. T and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. <laughs> Maddie's excited. Okay. Yeah. I pity the fool that doesn't love Christmas. Yeah. Mr. Tia Santa, I guess. And I guess. Get to the sleigh. Okay, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger at Santa, too. And that one was awful. Thanks, everybody. I enjoyed all the clapping. Have a good night. Jim McClappy was an early birthday present, so you're welcome. We're not going to stop this.